Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the third annual Fright Night. This is night number four and we are talking about 1995's Vampire in Brooklyn. So if you guys are new just know that the 13 Nights of Fright movies um, are all first time watches and this year's gonna be a little bit different compared to last year. Well the last two years. This year uh, the last three movies will be movies that came out this year. Uh, so just kind of look out for those. I am of course gonna end the uh, series here for the third annual series with uh, Halloween ends. Um, so yeah, just kind of stick around for, for that. But Vampire in Brooklyn, yes, I have never seen this movie. Of course, if you are kind of living under a rock like I am, this does star Eddie Murphy and the beautiful Angela Bassett. And quite honestly, I'm surprised I don't hear more about this movie. Like I'm kind of shocked that it's not more popular. It hasn't got more of a following, to be honest with you. You don't really hear too, too much about it. And of course, when you do hear things about it, it's not really the best things that you hear about the movie. Now in Vampire in Brooklyn we are following Maximilian who is played by Eddie Murphy and his whole coven has pretty much been wiped out by the humankind because you know we fear things that we don't understand plus we do understand it. It's like we are food. Obviously we're gonna retaliate and uh, kill you because you are then trying to kill us. I mean I get it you're trying to kill us for food but then you're still murdering us. There's that. But he is traveling to Brooklyn to find Rita, who's played by Angela Bassett, who is his half vampire, half human breed. And his thing is to reunite, well not reunite because she doesn't know she's half vampire, but to basically make her fall in love, turn her in so they can costumate their thing and then kind of build up their coven, their vampire. I don't know, is it coven? Coven is for witches, isn't it? Like a family, right? Because he's by himself. He is like the lone survivor of his whole vampire people that were around. So this is considered a horror comedy type of movie but I feel like there's not a really good balance in between it. I feel like it was kind of like playing tug of war of no we want it to be a horror movie but we want it to be a comedy. It just didn't know exactly what it wanted to do and it didn't want to do it together. So there's that issue with it because the beginning part of the movie actually I quite enjoyed it up until about like midway and then somehow something kind of shifted for me and I was like okay I kind of see where people are really talking bad about it because honestly while I was watching I was like it's not that bad. It's actually really funny. Not like really 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 funny but it has like a lot of really funny parts to it but it also does have some horror parts to it as well. It wasn't like oh my god like oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack or anything. No 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 no. It was just like a, like oh like a okay I see you. I see you. Okay. I acknowledge the horror aspect to it. There are also quite a few good practical effects. Not everything really worked out. It didn't really age that well but I can see during that particular time it was good and then like shortly after not so good anymore but for the most part I enjoyed what we did get for the most part again. Uh, I have said this before I am a fan of practical effects. I really like them. Eddie Murphy as a vampire I mean I don't know like sometimes he worked for me sometimes he didn't. This is not the worst thing I have seen Eddie Murphy in. Angela Bassett actually did really well as uh, well in this film. Um, I think she was definitely the standout for me. I will say though that her partner there's supposed to be like a love romance kind of brewing between them and that's supposed to be like her true love whilst you know Maxine was trying to like woo Rita. But I didn't really feel the overall connection between the partner and, and Rita. I don't even remember his name. I don't know like finally when it came to like their fight well him trying to fight for her it was just like I didn't really care like I kind of wanted Eddie Murphy to win I'm not gonna lie like I felt more of a connection with them over there than with the detective I just wasn't really buying it. It's one of those movies I think that you just watch it <laughs> and just kind of like enjoy it for what it is. One of those kind of like if you're looking for a vampire movie to watch that has maybe like a tad bit of humor especially if you are an Eddie Murphy fan and an Angela Bassett fan that this could be something that you could watch. Um, it does have like a bit of you know like little horror aspect to it. It really does. Um, not like big again it's not it's, you acknowledge it okay you acknowledge it um and that's not just coming from me that it's not like a horror fan or anything like that but I do love vampire movies um most of my reviews that I do are like vampire zombie kind of movies werewolf stuff like that that's what, what I that's what I like as far as horror genre goes you already know I'm, I don't like like jump scares demonic stuff we don't see that kind of things here you know what we're just gonna leave it because we're trying to do these you no know, we got we got we got, we got what, nine more days to go we we are cruising and we're giving you just like quick overall 
thoughts about these movies. Should you check them out? Should you not? Generally, are they a fun watch during the spooky season? That's really what you want, right? That's probably why you're here, is that you're trying to find something either new or maybe something that you haven't revisited in years. And you're like, you know what? I kind of want to check it out again. I remember this movie when back in the day and it was, you know, it was some at that point. So before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new, especially so you don't miss the remaining um, nine, day, nine days, right? 10 days? I don't even know what day we're on anymore. I just said it too. Like John Witherspoon, AKA Pops, and then you will enjoy him here in this movie. He comes on um, at the beginning and then just kind of periodically uh, throughout the movie. And of course he does give that comedic uh, relief. Uh, we do have not just vampires, but we also have like a ghoul there and like a very decomposing, almost zombify and again i really like the way that he was looking as he was decomposing that was um really good as well with that said um i am going to go ahead and give vampire in brooklyn a medium popcorn even though it did have that slight decline for me there towards the end of the movie but it still was entertaining enough uh, to not drop it down to a small is it a movie that has held up great no i didn't have a problem with it at all i really don't understand the overall hatred for the movie but you know everybody has their opinions right this is just my own personal one all right guys that is it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow bye